I don't think I can say any other movie other than Lord of the Rings when people ask me what your favourite film is. Like, deep down, I just know. There are films that maybe I think are genius pieces of art, incredible stories, maybe shot better, maybe have better scripts, but I, I honestly just don't think that there's any other film that I can say is my favourite film other than Lord of the Rings. I mean, look at me. This is, this is the face of someone that loves Lord of the Rings, you just know. Hey, what's that I hear? You, you, you think the audio quality has greatly improved? Or oh, what's this? He's only gone and, he's only gone and done the YouTube-y thing, isn't he? And he's got like some sweet audio equipment. Look at him go. My girlfriend got a new MacBook because she does picture books. She's already got a book deal. I'm proud of her. And so she got swag money, kind of, for us anyway. And the funny thing is, because um, technically she still counts as a student, um, she got some free Beats headphones with that purchase of the Mac. My, my hands were rubbing together because I was like, ooh, neither of us are going to use these headphones. So I'm going to go ahead and sell them. And then I went down to my old CEX, which is like electronic exchange. You get pre-owned um, DVDs and games and electronics and stuff. Yeah, it's a Blue Yeti microphone. And like normally I think they're super expensive, like ridiculously expensive. So basically I've traded some beats for a sweet ass microphone. You're welcome. I'm going to have to get used to using this. I think it's really going to be much louder possibly. So I'll have to tone down the levels, I reckon. But hopefully the quality is banging. It's been a while, lots of work, lots of little things, to be honest. Sometimes when you feel a little bit overwhelmed with work, rather than your tasks being hard or difficult or complicated, um, it's just the fact that there's lots of little ones. So you feel a little bit overwhelmed. But when you set your sights on one, get it out of the way, no problem. So that's how I've been feeling at the moment, to be honest, because also it's October, um, so it's Inktober. Um, you should go check out my Instagram. I'm creating character designs, but also making, turning them into like a collectible trading card game thing. I think. Uh, I'll maybe make a video of me drawing some of them, possibly. It's a little bit different, difficult because I mostly do them traditionally and then scan them in. I need to figure out a good way of doing that. Hey, so I thought, you know, why bother spending time on my pixel art animation that's going to take me weeks? Instead, just start some new pixel art for no reason. So basically, I've been, I was doing some fan art I love Lord of the Rings, so I was doing some Lord of the Rings fan art because I watched it a couple of weeks ago, and I did some cool fan art of Aragorn, Strider. Um, I was analysing a very specific frame in the film in, I believe it's Return of the King. It might be Two Towers. I think it's Return of the King. Might be Two Towers. Anyway, they're in Rohan. Aragorn just goes outside in the night time, and the lighting is really cool. Um, it's a very calm scene. I think Legolas is looking off into the distance with his elf eyes, as he does. And yeah, the lighting and the colours are really cool, so I tried to recreate it. Um, however, looking back, I then thought, I didn't feel like it was worthy of a full video, because I respect your time, you know? So I thought, what can I do? They like pixel art, I like pixel art. I said I was going to do some pixel art fan art, so I decided to do twice the fan art, double Lord of the Rings, Two Towers fan art fellowship of the pixels. Um, so that's what's coming at you. You're getting two fan arts, one pixel art, one digital painting thing. You're welcome. Two cool scenes. Aragorn's epic motivational speech. Oh my god, I love those films so much. So I thought I would pay homage to that little shot. The one thing that I maybe don't like is how um how similar this these color the colours in the pixel art thing are to my, one of my previous 
pixel arts on this channel so i'm sorry like last video i think i was doing some adventurous stuff and it's very muted grays and greens and blues so sorry for that um but i hope you enjoy this other fan art i think i got the sketch down i, I quite like the sketch of aragorn that i got but then also I do like how I've made the background kind of Steven Universe-y in a way. I've spoken for a while now. Um, is this microphone good? Is this is this microphone good? Maybe, you know, like what I could do is um, I could start like ASMR now. Is ASMR weird? I think it is weird. The animation has gone on a slight break as I was um, doing some sprite work for uh, commission and I was also sketching out um, another commission, and also uh, I've been ill, so I'm sorry if I sound a little bit ill, just recovering uh, from a cold, and also Inktober is a daily drawing that I've got to keep up with, but I should have the rest of the day now to work, so fingers crossed, I'm gonna sort of get to the end of the adventurers segment of my animation. It's about 30 seconds already. Um, so in total, I feel like this is gonna be another like three, four, five minute animation. Wish me luck. I think first I'm gonna have some lunch though. Uh, I'm reckoning scrambled eggs on bagels with baked beans and spring onion is on the cards. That's everything I got. I hope you're having a good day. Thanks for sticking with me. Uh, look at this sweet new necklace I got. It's a pendant. It's a cool little pendant with the eight sort of lucky symbols of Tibetan Buddhism. Um, that is a very simplified explanation. Um, I'm sure there are people out there who know more. Ashtamangala? Anyway, sweet, I hope you're doing okay out there. Thanks for sticking with me. Thanks for still subscribing. Um, and keeping up. Oh yeah, holy shit, we're at 2,000. I've got 2,000 people following me now. 2,000 uh, viewers. 2,000, uh, an audience of 2,000. I'm sure not all of you watch these videos. I'm sure not of all of you remember subscribing maybe. Who I don't know anything much about most of you. Um, but I, I enjoy the comments. Um, uh, thanks. Yeah, who knows? Maybe if we keep this up, maybe Shane Dawson uh, will make a documentary series about me. Travel life. That is handsome.